Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sound 101. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones. In today's episode, we are gonna build this guy right here, a binaural microphone for as little as $150. So let's get started. This is a build I've been wanting to do for a very long time since we mentioned binaural microphones here on the show. Now, a few of you guys down in the comment section said, but how does it exactly work? How do the ears actually give you a 360 image, a front and a back and all that stuff? So we actually went out and we bought more ears. These have actually uh, been purchased right off Amazon. All the links for everything you see on this table will be in the description below so you guys can actually do this at home with us. So to get started, we're gonna get our project box that's gonna house everything, all the electronics and everything gonna get housed here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill into the side of our project box first. Now, in order to know what size hole we need to drill, we need to measure our lavalier head. Today we're using two V-lobs and we've actually got a stepping bit. We'll just measure this across the stepping bit and it looks like about a half inch is the side we need. Now, in order to use a stepping bit, the best technique that I have discovered is I like to pull off a couple of inches of electrical tape, go to the part of the stepping bit I need, so I need a half inch. So I'm actually gonna go up to the size above it, mark that off. I like to create a little flap like that with the E-tape and then make it nice and smooth. So as I'm drilling, this is gonna spin around. And as soon as I see that it's clearing off all the plastic dust, I know I've gotten to the actual right step. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually drill a pilot hole. I want it dead center because these ears kind of have the hole on the inside right in the dead center of this and I want it to line up exactly with that. So I want one and a half inches, so I want three fourths inch right there. I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to make the marker. So let's drill our first pilot hole. Done. And let's go to the other side of the box. Again, second pilot hole. Done. Now it's time for that stepping bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse this and drill the other side. Again, I like to line it all up and go straight down. And there we go. And again, it catches all that schmutz and just takes that right off. So the next hole we need to drill, this particular project box already has one for our cable coming out. I added that a while ago for another project. You will want to drill one too. Something else you're gonna to wanna to drill is actually for our mount. What you'll see here is we've got a very simple little cold shoe mount that goes to a quarter 20 and a wing nut. So we actually need to go get our quarter 20 bit. We're gonna mount it dead center as best as we can. So again, my project box is five and a fourth, which is not too far off from how wide your head is. Plus we also have the rubber on the sides. They'll add another inch on either side. So by the time this is all done, we'll be looking at about just a little over six inches. So we're just gonna mount up. And to measure, before we put our drill away, fits perfectly. So what we're gonna do now is actually gonna get into this box. It's just four simple screws. That's what I love about project boxes. You can actually get some pretty custom built and yet at the end of the day, they just assemble or snap together. So what we're gonna do is just put all of our electronics now in the box. Let's open up this Hosa cable. They glue these now, wow. What's nice and unique about this is actually it's called a tip ring cable. What that means is the tip goes to one, the ring goes to the other. The tip is gonna be your left channel, the ring is your right channel. And you can see that right there on the little names. You, what you're actually gonna want is a left ear and a right ear. This way we actually have a true stereo image between our two lavaliers. This cable is gonna go inside. And in order to do that, we got this cable, it's an extension cable, but it's coiled in extension. And we're just gonna plug this literally right in the here. And then we're gonna use that grommet and that's grommet is gonna secure this cable from coming and getting pulled out. This is gonna act also as a strain relief and we're gonna put that as close as possible, just like that inside that grommet. We're just gonna slide that grommet right into its hole. This is gonna get mounted up into here and we're gonna mount each V-Love into it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna first secure everything with the twist ties that come with your V-Love. So we're gonna pull this little uh, tie clip back and tighten the tie clip down with this and we're gonna do it to the corresponding thing. So the tip, remember, is your left channel. So on this particular box, it's gonna be this side. So we're gonna go into the tip, snap it into place, give yourself a little bit of cable for that log, poke it through the hole, and then we're gonna secure it all with that twist tie, boom. And that is that. And we have a little bit of lav coming out one side and we've got the other side we gotta do now. There's just enough room in these boxes 
for all this to fit. So now we have lavaliers coming out both sides of the box, a cable and our grommet coming out the bottom of the box. Now we can actually do the cold shoe mount. We're using a wing nut because in a box this small, sometimes it's hard to get like tools that can actually like ratchet and the box is small. Sometimes you just use your fingers and you just want to make this finger tight and that's going to hold just fine. Close all this up. Now it's time. Let's talk about the ears themselves. The way binaural audio works is the actual ear shape is exactly what we need in order to have directionality. We only have two tracks of audio in our own personal body. And for this setup, we're gonna do two tracks of audio too. The way that it works is if something's coming from the front, it's actually gonna hit off the reflective dish in your ear and then reflect into your actual ear canal. If an audio comes from the back, it's actually gonna take the time needed to wrap around your ear and it's gonna bounce off these smaller ridges and then into your ear canal. The two differences in the timing and the phase is actually gonna give you the perspective of front and back. The amplitude on either side of your head is what's gonna give you left and right. So with the combination of both of those, these two fake ears will work just like your normal ears. And now your camera audio will have the ability to tell front and back also. In order to do this, we're gonna make a small cut in the actual ear. Now, I've already done one, but we're gonna do the next one now, and that is I'm actually gonna use my flush cutters and X-Acto knife, and I'm actually gonna cut right in to the ear canal area. What I'm trying to do is make a slit that that lavalier can actually come through. I'm gonna remove just a little bit of tissue so as to not distort and stretch the ear canal too much and get it out of place. These ears are actually modeled after real human ears, and the best we can do to preserve the actual shape of everything, the better the binaural situation is gonna be for us. Now that is gonna make a nice little hole for our lavalier to sit in. So let's actually start mounting these things all up. Take your lavalier, pop it in the hole. You wanna make sure it sits nice and flush in that canal, and now we're gonna pull some of that wire through and actually get it mounted up here on the side. In order to do this part, mounting it, we're first gonna use double-sided sticky tape. So we're just gonna apply that tape like that. We're gonna pull this wire, we're gonna position that ear as best as we can. And there we go. Now what that's gonna allow us to do is really just test everything. What we've got here now is an ear, a little microphone in the canal. What we can do is push that back a little bit. And that's gonna sit right there in that canal and that really is gonna give us a nice stereo image. And now for the other one. I like to make it so that I can adjust everything first, get it all positioned right, check the audio, check everything, make sure it's all working before I start doing things like permanently gluing the ears on, closing up the case. So now that we've got both ears on, both lavaliers sitting where we want them, we've got the cable hanging out the grommet ready. It's time to close it all up and test it. I like to do the screw right next to where the cable exit is. That way it holds all that in place so I don't have to worry about holding it while I'm trying to do the other screws. Well, there you have it, our binaural microphone. You are still watching this video because you really want to know what this thing sounds like. So let's go take this thing out for a spin. This project has been a blast to research and kind of try to figure out what best parts to use and also how to do this on an affordable side. If you had to go out and buy the VLOVs, you could do this for about $150, no problem. Again, links in the description below. If you like this video and want more DIY tutorials, tell us about some things down in the comments below that we should build or at least attempt to build. We love doing these kinds of projects and we wanna make stuff that you guys truly enjoy. But don't forget, like, follow, and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones and, well,